Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Z Walking Dead Season 2. I, if you guys haven't noticed, it'd be hard not to notice, I've been playing the hell out of this lately, and that's because I'm just really enjoying it. And I recently played The Expanse as well, and I love that. That is so much fun, I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. Uh, it's going to suck when I'm done these games, because I'm enjoying them so much. But I can't stop playing them. They're so fun. I'm just, oh, I'm enjoying them. Like, seriously. They're so much fun, and I just, I love it. Tattoo games. On the Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety! Ah! Go to hell, you fuck! We're going home. As a family. Like I was saying, Tattoo Games makes amazing stories and amazing games. There's, there's so much fun. I love them. Butterfly. All right, so we're going to stand here looking at the butterfly. Nope. Oh. done over there yeah one second thanks for coming with me it's scary out here I know they made you it's still nice that you came we're friends friends look out for one another we are aren't we well if you need to pee let me know I'll keep look out for you too uh okay <laughs> okay that was a little weird Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. <laughs> It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? I know. Fuck you. <gasps> no, stop! Oh. Don't hit my friend! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone! Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. What a prick. <laughs> okay. Maybe Bonnie's not as much of an asshole as I think she is. She just has that look of someone who's just trying to survive but doesn't agree with what he's doing. In. I guess we'll find out. Are you guys okay? What the hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Danger, crash hazard. Keep clear of the. Hey, I was reading that, but okay. My cat just came and joined the recording, apparently. Hello, Luna. Hey, baby. Okay, well, this is awkward. All right, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We 
You need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp, anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know, anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Sit down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Whoa. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with it. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. I'm going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs, it's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny, please, calm down. I think everyone is just tired and cranky. She's right. We should all take it down a bit. All right, now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. Close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. <laughs> Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... Just listen to them. They know him. I... I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, Hound. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? <laughs> Probably for the best. Yeah. I'm gonna agree with the doc on this one. That was definitely for the best. Kenny was gonna do something extremely fucking stupid. <laughs> Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. patient with them until it does, and take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, Holy crap. betrayal, hate, now they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Movement. And then wait until morning. We're all exhausted. But rest just come sure the fuck that if on. It does turn our way, it's nothing we can't handle. Some I need him. I need my 
my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will move forward. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can save no you from messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! <gasps> Whoa. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. <laughs> this happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Kiss ass. All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh... Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. It freaks me out too sometimes. It doesn't matter. That is a very depressing response to a simple question. I'm sorry I asked. Sorry. She's had a rough few days. It's fine. I'm sure she's just traumatized. All kids are these days. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but, like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work <laughs> outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. <laughs> I know. Wow. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. It's probably bullshit. Who's she? Hmm? Who? A girl over there? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. Well, I know stare. how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got wow. the solar panels working. 
When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not <laughs> as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> yeah, that usually helps and for things to go forward to plan. Guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. You're one to talk, Kenny. <laughs> just we saying. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. And I have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. Hey. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, uh, distracted. Let's take a look. Oh, it's Mike. There's all kinds of noise. What did I say? Stuff. I saw its shadow. Fish statue. In front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Huh. Literally a fish statue. That... Okay, would anyone else be tempted to put their head in that? Or... Is that just me? Like... Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Uh, can we duck to Nick? Nick I didn't say. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. I... I don't know. Well, I do. He'll show up. You can count on it. <sighs> it's all to try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. So okay. Night. Like Kenny. What? No, Just Ken. Asking. I heard no, that. It's okay. It's not my real name. On my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter <laughs> asked me my name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then I looks kind of crappy. The guy yelled Reggie for five minutes, and that's when I thought I should really get out ahead of this. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, I can do something here. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Okay, that could be taken a number of different ways. Bro, calm your tits. Okay, well, I think that's everything I can... Uh, okay. 
Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to... what the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Okay, I guess I should have stopped. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's wow. fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Okay, I guess I kind of do feel bad, but... Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Okay, I kind of feel bad that I got him in trouble, but... Hey, whatever, dude. I didn't want to be here in the first place. So, fuck you. That's a boot. That's a dick. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. He can have a word. He can have the, all the words he wants. I don't know if I fucking care what he has to say. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, <laughs> but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Eh, fuck you. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to I you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking talk over later, Reggie's okay? duties outside the okay, walls. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... oh, oh, Sarah, shut up. Yes. Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I, Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll oh. make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Oh, come on, dude. Really? I'm not sure with my hand that I could... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. No, you don't need to do that. She's already scared. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Oh, I don't like this guy. I hated him before. He's a real piece of shit. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Oh, come on. Oh, this is painful to watch.
I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. Jesus Christ. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. I don't like you, Troy. I, if I get the opportunity, I'm fucking stabbing his ass. You're working in the ass. armory. Follow me. You're gonna put oh, me in yeah. guns. God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Where are you going to put me in a room full of weapons? All right, well, I'm going to shoot you, then I'm going to shoot Troy. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Okay, fine. I'll shoot Bonnie, then I'll shoot you, then I'll shoot Troy. Fuck you, bitch. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. Great. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. It's the apocalypse, bitch. Everybody knows how to use guns. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. No and shit! I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And because of you! I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine, going into it. It was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but... I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all of this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but... It's all I can offer right now. Oh, you're gonna be fucking doing a lot of shit to help us out, bitch. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... Yeah. Probably. They well, do. I don't know. I've never been to prison. <laughs> don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. <laughs> I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When well, Luke approached then? me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all <coughs> over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. I think he's crazy. He's... He's... Overstressed. It's easier to just say crazy. Luke had ideas yeah. about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but... I just hope he's safe. Well, hey, Bonnie, somewhere. is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Is it a knife? Oh, it's a coat. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Havia. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Bitch, you put me in here, and you didn't know where I was? 
You literally just walked me in here five minutes ago. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Follow me. Come on. I want to follow you. Whoa, greenhouses. Pretty big greenhouses too, damn. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Oh, I'ma touch all the shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna get right up in your shit and I'ma touch shit. Hey. You want a hug? Okay, well, I owe you one for later then. You might not know what's coming though, but I could just sneak up on you when you're not expecting it. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Poor Sarah. I actually even feel very bad for her. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Fine. Pick up a pair of those shears. <clears throat> Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? it sounds pretty straightforward. Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, yeah, Bill's had it that. out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Don't touch the hat. That was awkward. I yeah. won't do that again. Don't do that. I'm gonna go work now. Yeah, go work. Please. I will stab you with your shears. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I do not consent to the pat. No pat. I do not consent. Fuck you. Mm. Uh, I feel like I should help her because she's just in a bit of shock. But granted, <clears throat> I did say last episode she needed to grow up. Ah, uh, conflict. Oh, Albert. It's one thing to grow up to hey. the reality of the world, but that was fucked up. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. End of the world's already come, girl. You didn't You're do fine. any of your work, Clem. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, so... shut up. 
Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. Sarah... she didn't understand. Nah, no, this ain't your fault. We talked oh, come about on. this, Reggie. Dude, come didn't on. Didn't we? Dude, but you just don't really? get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a, a few <coughs> things to talk about. Oh, come on. Really? You're really gonna do my man like that? Thanks for the help, girls. Hey! What? Well, that's where you were I didn't have to hit people. But I do know plenty of people who need to be hit. It's all that means, like... Right? What's wrong, Sarah? Exploring is for those who fall in line. I got no use for the other one. Sarah? Are you okay? <laughs> I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Oh. Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go. Oh. Wow, what the fuck? Oh, oh hey. So, wow. they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Wow, Bonnie. Really? Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Carver's fucking crazy. That's what happened, bitch. Hey, Troy, Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. <coughs> All right. Go on. Jesus Christ, these people are crazy. Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Oh, fuck a duck. You know what, here's an idea. Maybe stop fucking yelling and you'll stop getting walkers pounding on the fence. Jesus Christ. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your Any? fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Penny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps. I just want to get the work done. And. <laughs> Shit! Fucking grab something! Yo, way to go, Penny. Way to fucking go. <laughs> Go, go, go! Oh, hold left. Okay, hold and left. I'm going left. We're going left. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, yeah. Not good. Oh, match the X. Let's go. Triangle. Oh, bullseye. Okay. Um. Oh. Well, that kind of worked. Shit. 
shit, 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 shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. No, 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 Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, screw you, man. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Jesus. <clears throat> okay. No, nope, get the fuck off me. Ah, ah, stop. Hey, it's me. Luke. Yes. You don't do that shit. Man, get the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. You don't fucking do that, but I'm gonna hug you, bro. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too. Asshole. Alright, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. I don't see that happening. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I, I just could use some sleep, you know? Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any, any moment. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. My guy's it fucked up. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You know, a way to get you and... And everyone. Oh, he's gonna pass out. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Fuck. Go on, get out of here. hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up <clears throat> in his office. So get on up there, now! Jesus. Calm your motherfucking tits. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. He looks familiar. Wasn't he from 400 Days? He looks like the guy. Rebecca! She's a strong woman. Surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Uh, whoa. 
Calvin? Oh. Calvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. Oh, I'm still killing you. First opportunity I get. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. <clears throat> and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And you we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need if we're gonna get through this. The next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. I'll help you. Whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. Well, that's all I can ask. All right, now. Bill, you there? I'm going to play you like a two-bit fiddle. Yeah, I'm like here. An accordion. Where the Loading main is. door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Oh, I don't like you. I, I don't know how many times I've said I don't like him in this episode. I've... I just don't. I understand needing to be strong, but there's being strong and there's being a dick. Not a dictator, it's a straight dick. I guess, I guess he puts a dick in dictator, don't he? As we all know what happened this morning, I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go, it's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw him to us. A friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous! Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. 
There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible yeah. thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. We should get the radio to Luke. It doesn't hurt to have more information. I agree. Fine, fine. We can do that. But the herd is still what's going to get us out of here. Maybe Luke can tell us where it's hitting from. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA <coughs> thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured yeah. out what your yeah, problem is. You kind of do. You don't think this stuff through. Avery if the doesn't. end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Good point. I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? And you cover yourself in their smell. Rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? God only knows. Don't question it, Kenny. We just need to use the winch. <coughs> she can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all yeah. the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Uh, that is some sketchy shit as usual. Don't let go. I got you. You better. Fucking drop me, I'm gonna drop kick your ass. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of rope. Yep, we go. Oh God, it's gonna Try take to hurry, me. all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Uh, yoink. <laughs> ah, ow. Whoa, okay, there's... We're in trouble. Yep. That's the the obvious. Woo, fucky ducky. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. You're not going to believe what I'm looking at. There's got to be two or three thousand of them out there. Wait, thousands? In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the Fuck. dust they're kicking up. So you're not tippy sure? Tippy -toe, tippy -toe, tippy -toe, what, about how many there are? Yeah. How oh, can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? We are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? 
Oh, we'll find out on. if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tip, tip, tippy toe, tippy toe, tip, tip, tippy toe. I don't like this. Where the fuck am I going? Ah, skylight. Here we go. Just keep tipping. Just keep tipping. Just keep tipping, tipping, tipping. Just keep tipping. Just keep tipping. Hey, here we go. And going down. And thank you for leaving. Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. Right away. I don't think Bill was gonna uh. let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got <laughs> used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you That's doing right. tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. So while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. <laughs> oh, oh, is there for a second? You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, Shit. come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Yeah, these, are, these are the guys. Vince, come on! Vince! Yeah, these are the guys from the 400 days. Whew. Whew. That was fucking tense. <clears throat> you get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. You fucking better. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? You little devil. Hey, <laughs> hey. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Thanks. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always <coughs> running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Poor Candy. Alright, we're, we're gonna call this episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Room means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And <laughs>